Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm coming to you bare face today. So you already know that means we're doing something with makeup. And as you can tell by the title, we are doing brows. So I do have an updated brow tutorial that I want to show you guys on what I use now. Because it is different than my last brow video that I made a couple months back. Mm, was it a couple months? I think it was a couple months back it was this one here and that's when i tried out using gel on my brows which i loved at the time but they were not moving and i didn't want something so thick on my brows so that's when i found something else to use i'm going to show you guys in today's video of how i do it and everything so we get those big nice fluffy brows so i'm going to show you guys how to achieve that but before we get into today's video make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time i upload and follow me on all my socials they are linked down below and let's get into these brows for today so once again we're going to go for the fluffy brow look laminated brow look and to do that i have have, if I don't drop all my products, I have these two bad boys right here that I like to use now. So the first one is the NYX Brow Glue. This stuff is amazing. It comes in this little tube and then it has the spoolie on it. Look at all that. Yes. So this really slicks down your brows amazingly and... I don't know if I'm ever gonna go back to using anything else. Like This is basically what the gel did, except it comes in a handy dandy little tube with the spoolie on it, it just makes life easier. And then to fill in, I also go in with another NYX product, and this here is the Lift and Snatch. I have the shade, I think brown, Espresso. I do have the shade Espresso, so I think it's like one of the darker shades, but obviously i have dark hairs it just fills it in so nicely so as you can see there it's a nice thin tip we love that and it gets them looking real nice and natural and then of course i shape it up with some concealer and I just go in with my old faithful elf camel concealer this is the 16 hour hydrating one that i absolutely love so i'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna get started on these brows i already shaped them how i like i plucked them to the little razor thing if you guys want to see a video on that i do have it on my channel as well I'll try to find it and link it for you guys i do have a lot of brow videos on my channel actually thinking about it now but i love my brows so let's get started all right i think this is close enough we're close enough here so like i said to get started i do go in with the gel first this is also the first step that i do in my makeup i like to do my brows before anything else so the spoolie and then it's super simple you just brush them all up i've seen different techniques where people are going like back and forth just to coat other brow hairs first and then brushing it up but i personally just like to brush it up i dip back in it a couple times just to really get enough <laughs> And at this point, they already look nice and fluffy. So what I like to do personally, because I don't like to leave it like this, I do like to just kind of shape it a bit. And give myself that arch. I'm going to fix any little sparse areas there. And that's how that one is looking. So let's go and do the same thing to the other side. <laughs> This one for some reason is way more fluffier than the other side so i always have to guide it a little bit more and shape it down and then hope that they're just even <laughs> so now i do like to just let it dry a little bit so it's not as tacky because coming right out of the bottle it is pretty tacky and it's it's glue essentially so i do like to just dry it a little bit before i go in with shading them in so depending on the day i'll either shade it in a little bit more a little bit less so if it's like a day that i'm not wearing makeup i'll just just a little bit but then if it's a day that I have full glam on I kind of go in a little bit more so that's gonna be today and I'll show you guys that so first off what I like to do is start underneath and just create the line but then right when I get to this arch here I stop the line and I start doing little strokes so that it looks as natural as possible and we're not looking too much of like 2016 brows if you know what i mean if you know you know so just fill in any of the little sparse areas 
And then I go into the top pieces here. I naturally have pretty thick brows, so thankfully I don't have to fill in too much. And that's how we're gonna leave that one, so. Go into the other side, same thing. So now that we have our beautiful shape, they already look really good, but take it to the next level. We shape it out with the concealer. This has been, ugh, such an important step in my life. I feel like I've been shaping out my brows since probably like 2014 and it just doesn't stop. It just cleans them up so nice. And there we have it. Look at that. <gasps> These brows are literally perfect. Obsessed. So thank you all so much for watching. This was a super quick, easy tutorial that I just wanted to get out for you guys to show that I have updated in my brow routine. I'm constantly updating my brow routine whenever I find something new. So I will always keep you guys posted on new products and new things that I'm using. Everything that I use today will be linked down below for you. And make sure you guys hit the subscribe button before you leave. You made it to the end of the video. You might as well just subscribe and I will see you all next time.